Hey there, I'm Justina. I'm a writing teacher and I wanted to share my strategy for helping struggling or reluctant writers. When someone comes to me and asks me, well, how do I support my struggling student or my struggling child? What do I do? The very first thing I always suggest is going back to basics. Now, sometimes people feel like this is going backward. And yes, technically it is going backward, but I would rather start at the ground and work my way up. So start at nothing, assume the child knows nothing and work from there. So we're having a student that, or a child that is struggling and doesn't want to write. Okay, they don't wanna write, so what do we do? The first thing that I would do if we were working together is I would present a text, a text that's already written on a topic that they like, let's say it would be animals or food or something really simple, okay? So the text is already written. Then what we would do is go sentence by sentence and extract any key ideas or keywords from each sentence, okay? Now we're gonna limit the amount of keywords or ideas that we're going to pick from each sentence. And how we're gonna pick them is we're gonna underline them. Now we're gonna limit the amount. We can only have a certain amount of words that we choose. So every single sentence, we're gonna pick a few words that we're going to underline. Now, with those words that we have underlined, we are going to rewrite the sentences, okay? We're gonna rewrite them. We're gonna to stick to the integrity of the original story or the original article or whatever it is that you use as your source text. We're gonna stay with the integrity of that, but we're gonna rewrite the sentences using the words that we had selected for every single sentence. Okay, so that would be the step that we would start with. Now, when we're ready to level up to the next level, we would take an article again that's pre-written, okay, it could be the same one even, and have the student pick key ideas for the overall idea of the article, okay? So we're not going sentence by sentence anymore. We're just picking out the key ideas or the key words that are popping out at them and helping them think about the topic, whatever the topic is. So for example, if it's animals, and we are talking about um, animals from the jungle, so let's say there we're talking about, I don't know, a parrot. Now there's different characteristics of the parrot. There's um, color, shapes and sizes, what they eat, how they sleep, how they move. You know, those are the ideas that would be in this um, text. Now they can underline and make you know, some selections of the ideas they think are the most important or the most interesting in that text. And those are the words that they're going to use to help them retell and rewrite that text. So that would be the second level. And for a struggling writer or a reluctant writer, that's as far as I would give the advice as um, this will take a few times to do it. But again, if your child or your student is struggling, I really recommend going back to basics, giving them something that's already written and asking them to extract ideas from it, okay? So what ideas do they have in this text? Extract them and then rewrite them. So this way, they're not trying to come up with new ideas. They're just trying to use ideas that are already created and learn about the process of writing versus figuring out what to write about, okay? So I hope that makes sense. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. I'll be so happy to answer them. And that's it for today. Okay, bye.